all narcissistic individuals will cheat on you. However, they will all cheat you out of something. They cheat you out of your hopes, your dreams, your happiness, your friends, your family, your health and your wealth. And when it comes to narcissistic individuals, they are some of the most secretive people you could ever meet. And you can just have that sense. You can just kind of know. But because you don't know, you sort of question and doubt yourself. And and you hope for the best, but you're, you're thinking the worst. And when it comes to narcissistic individuals, when they get caught in the act, they don't take too kindly to this. Most genuine people wouldn't do something in the first place that would, would hurt another person. When it comes to cheating, it, it's not a mistake. There's a lot of <laughs> errors in judgment that would have to take place for someone to cheat. It is not a mistake. It is a choice that they make. They choose to speak to the person. They choose to message the person. They choose to wine and dine the person. They, they choose to meet up with the person. They choose to go to bed with the person. There's so many opportunities they could make a choice not to. Therefore, it's not a mistake. And they make that conscious effort to hide it from you not to protect your feelings, like some might claim, but to protect themselves from any form of consequences for their actions. And once you catch a narcissistic individual cheating, they'll have the nerve to never trust you again because you caught them in the act. Now, whether you have facts or evidence or not, if you go to a narcissist about their cheating with facts and evidence or without, they often go for the denial Olympics where they will go on and on about how they haven't done anything wrong, how you're the one that's overreacting to a situation, how it, it wasn't them, they're just doing something to help their mate out, it's, it's somebody at work, it's nothing to do with them. They can turn around and play the victim of, of how can you accuse them of such a thing? How can you think so poorly of them? So you end up feeling guilty for daring to question them. They can go all out to shift the blame. Instead of acknowledging their wrongdoing, their failures, they will shift the blame onto their, their partner or their new supply. So they will, and they often, because they're seeking that excessive attention, they they say it like they believe it because they often do. So they can turn around to you and claim it's because you weren't paying them enough attention. And they actually, within their own mind, seem to believe that that is your fault. Or they claim that the new supply just wouldn't leave them alone. What did you expect them to do? It's the new supply who just would not leave them alone. And as they are grandiose enough to believe that they are superior and better than everyone else, they they also believe they're entitled to do as they please. There was an opportunity there, so they just had to take it. What would anybody else do in their situation? And genuine people would say no. They'll blame external factors of how, how stressed they are recently, which still doesn't justify cheating and betraying somebody that you supposedly care about. They will happily make themselves out to be the victim in the situation because to a narcissist, nothing is ever their fault. It's always somebody else's fault. They don't take responsibility for their behaviour and by playing the victim, they can manipulate the situation to almost make you feel sorry for them so that they don't have to feel sorry for you because they lack the empathy to do so. They can go all out to manipulate, to coercively control you into giving them another chance, especially if the new supply isn't working out quite how they hoped or the new supply can't provide for them as you do. So they can hoover, they can, they can suddenly begin to love bomb and 
make all the false promises of the future, future fake with you. They can change temporarily. They can promise change, false promises of change and change temporarily just to win you back on the side. Only once they've got you where they want you, they revert back to the person you were trying to escape from. And they often get worse because they, they seem to then need to, to punish you for daring to make them work harder in order to keep you. They, they kind of twist it that you're the one that's being manipulative. They, they like the empathy, so they might just downplay it and cheating is whatever cheating is to you as a person, whatever makes you feel betrayed. But they can just turn around and say, it's sending messages, you're overreacting to the situation, it was only once, it wasn't that bad. So they can kind of admit it, yet completely downplay it and make out that you're the one that's been bitter, you're the one that's been jealous. They can become grandiose. They can actually become quite boastful of just how amazing the other person is and how the other person wants them. They're trying to triangulate you in a way where they can create that jealousy to make you work harder to keep the narcissist so that the narcissist can feel superior. They can gaslight you. They can just accuse you of, if you found evidence, they can accuse you of planting it. They can accuse you of manipulating the situation. They can accuse you of imagining things, of going crazy, of being jealous. And if you haven't got the evidence and you are starting to wonder what's going on, when they're accusing you of being jealous or imagining things, that, that helps that that self-doubt within you that you might be in the wrong and they will accuse you of going crazy about things that you will later on find out were actually true they were actually doing those things to you as a whole narcissistic individuals lack accountability for their behavior and they they like the empathy to care for how their behavior negatively impacts those around them they just feel entitled to exploit people to get their needs met by people and they will only ever offer that false apology and it is a false apology because they don't take responsibility they don't feel remorseful they don't repair the damage they often shift the blame by saying i'm sorry if you hadn't i'm sorry but they did or they didn't they look to shift the blame over to you and they they only offer that false apology as a way of avoiding taking responsibility and a way of avoiding facing any consequences for their actions. They're not sorry they hurt your feelings. They're just sorry that they got caught and they're looking to manipulate the situation so that they can get away with it and so that they can feel better about the situation if it's all possible. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or anything you notice a narcissist do when caught in the act, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot give no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. If you'd like to check those out, they'll be in the description also. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.